So today's video is going to be another version of the what's in my bag tag. It seems like every time I post on my various social media that I'm looking for video suggestions, at least one person always suggests the what's in my bag tag. And I already have a video of me doing the what's in my bag tag. I think it's from like 2014, maybe it's last year, I don't remember. So the current bag that I have is this tote. It has Motorhead on it, because Motorhead is boss. Rest in peace, Lemmy. But I got this bag from the Days of the Dead convention in Atlanta earlier this year. Um, it was actually on my birthday. Um, but this is from a brand called Paul Bearer Press. All the buttons I have on here I got from either various conventions or uh, events, or I bought them from like... I think the main places I buy buttons are like Starbound, Starbound, <laughs> Earthbound, and Starship. The other side of the bag has the same Motorhead logo. It's just this is the side I usually carry towards my body, so it's a little more worn out than this side. So the two little keychains I have on my bag are my Gloomy Bear. I've had this little keychain thing since I was in like sixth grade, and he's been on all of my bags. And then the other one I have here is. A recent one, I got her in New Orleans, and it's a little voodoo doll of Storm from X-Men. And before I also get into the bag itself, um, there are two items that I usually keep within the bag that are not in the bag right now, and that's because I'm currently using them. Uh, and those would be my cell phone and my charging cable for my cell phone. Okay, so the first thing I'm po pulling out is my wallet, and it's just a really big wallet. It has two different compartments. One of them is like an accordion folder type of thing and this is where I keep my money, like cash money, uh, receipts, and I also keep my birth control in here because sometimes I'll just carry my wallet places and leave my purse at home. And then the other side um, are all my cards. Okay, so the next thing I have in here is my pencil case, um, which seemingly is filled up with nothing but sharpies. Um, but yeah, I am a student. I need pens and pencils and apparently a shit ton of Sharpies and highlighters. Um, so I just keep this around with me. Next thing I'm pulling out is a stray pencil. I think this was supposed to go in my chorus folder and I accidentally took it with me. Oh well, pencil, yay. <laughs> Next up I have these, which I just got yesterday. These are the Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. You get a little TMI here. I do have some problems with body odor um, and perspiration, like I tend to perspire a lot, um, so this is just something I like to use when I'm in a pinch. What? What? In German, what does Frau mean? Miss. Or woman. Okay, thank you. <laughs> I wanted this too. Can I kind of say hi? Yeah, can I say hi. That's gross. Hi. Thank you for your time. What did you need to know Frau for? Because I saw it on the TV and I didn't know what it meant. Okay. Pause, pause the fish. Just sit it. I see. Deodorant wipes. Okay, next thing I'm pulling out is Halloween facial tissue. I remember picking this up from Target. Um, during Halloween, they're just orange spider webs. Uh, next, I have a travel size version of the Body Shop's Virgin Mojito Body Butter. It's so good. I love the way this smells. It's next up, I have the charging dock for my iPod charging cable. Uh, this is actually the current lipstick I'm wearing. Um, this is the Hard Candy Velvet Mousse Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade Dahlia. Um, and I really, really like these. Um, I'm going to do a full review on the formula and everything once I get a little more wear out of them. But a big plus for me is the packaging. It comes with its own little tin and it makes it really easy to travel. I totally just blinded you there. But it has a mirror in it and the liquid lipstick sits in a little velvet pouch and the liquid lipstick itself it's really nice um, I really like it 
and it just looks like a tube like this. It kind of reminds me of the uh, Milani um, Lip Intense lacquers, and I think Holly Eats Lipstick equated the packaging to the um, Urban Decay lip glosses. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. Next, I'm pulling out my keys. Um, yeah, I literally have every key that I need on here, like my car keys, my apartment key, uh, the key to my mailbox, the key to my parents' house, uh, key to my luggage. I have a cute little clownfish flash drive. Yeah, keys. Uh, next up is another bag. This is all the makeup that I travel with. Um, it's nothing like super expensive or super like necessary. I just have two compacts in here. I have tinted lip balms and some lip glosses. Just things that I would need in a pinch. Uh, next I have my sack of crystals. I carry these everywhere with me. Um, because you never know when somebody or even yourself needs a little bit of crystal healing. This was originally on a keychain, but I guess I just threw it in here. These are erasers that are shaped like cupcakes, and I got these from... Uh, I don't actually remember. I think these might have been in a candy trade bag. I don't know. Uh, next I have my iPod, or one of my iPods. This is a... Uh, I don't know what generation this is. I think it's fourth generation Nano. Holds eight gigs of music. So yeah. Uh, have my hand sanitizer. This is the Cleanwell natural hand sanitizer. It's a spray sanitizer. So it's a lot more uh, hygienic than other ones. And this particular one is alcohol-free, it's moisturizing, and it smells like orange vanilla. So it smells like a creamsicle. I really like it. Um, and I prefer it over like other ones because um, like liquidy hand sanitizers just make my hands feel really super dry. Um, and this is the only hand sanitizer that I've found that it doesn't do that with. So yeah. Next up I have my dice for D&D. Um, I do play D&D. Um, I usually play as a drow fighter. Um, and these are my dice. They are uh, blue aurora. I have a lighter in here. It's just a standard blue bic. Next I have one of my tarot decks. Um, I have three decks actually, but I only travel with one of them at a time, really. Uh, the one that I traveled with for the longest time was my Gilded Tarot. This one is another one that my friend Ryan gave me. Ryan gave me the Gilded Tarot. Um, but this is another one that he gave me for my birthday this year. It's called the Paulina Tarot. And it has a really awesome art style. I absolutely love the way that these are drawn. Um, it's just a really cool style. So yeah. And the reason I carry around a tarot deck is basically the same reason I carry around my crystals. I just bring them in case I or another person I know might need a reading. All right, next thing I have in here is another flash drive. I should probably have this attached to something, but it's just an eight gig flash drive. And the last thing it seems like is in here are my sunglasses. I should probably also get a case for these. Um, I bought these while I was in New Orleans from the French market and they are just some super round plain black sunglasses. I showed these off in my um, spring break vlog which I'm not sure if that's going up after this or before this but I did vlog a good portion of my time in New Orleans. So yeah that was everything that is in my purse. It's a lot more than I thought I had in there but yeah, that's basically what I have in my purse. But yeah, I hope this video was enjoyable for some of you. If you guys have any comments, questions, or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section down below. And also down below in the description box will be any information pertaining to the video. And I really hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys in my next one. Love you. Bye.